What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd, I'm not the single guy, and today we're gonna to be talking about a stat that I saw on the web. This has kind of been circulating for a while, I've seen this before, and that's most women think that 80% of men, or over 80% of men, are unattractive. In fact, I'm gonna go into the study right now. So, it, it actually gets even worse. If you look at the data, it says, with to show some women may be operating on a very different scale. Some pictures of men who are fine looking, some might even say cute even, but the women have rated them as significantly less attractive than the so-called medium. So they're actually saying that 80% of men are unattractive, so they're below whatever like medium attractiveness is. Most women are saying this. This is, this is data taken from OkCupid, by the way. All right, so a lot of men and a lot of people will look at this and say, well, no wonder all single women are single because you know they, their expectations are too high. What I'm going to put to you, what I'm going to show to you by the end of this video, you're going to understand why this is happening. And my goal for you is to not be like, oh, women suck, they, they're too picky or whatever. You're going to understand why they're making this and why it's not that big of a deal. All right, as long as you understand what's going on. Okay. So I first discovered this when I was younger, when I was like, uh, you know, my early 20s or whatever. I would talk to women about this, and I, we would play that whole celebrity game where like you pick which celebrities you you be down to have sex with or whatever. So we're doing this game, and I would bring up a celebrity like Brad Pitt or uh, Hugh Jackman or just someone that's like I know is a really good looking guy. And a lot of times, like more than half of the female friends that I had that were I was doing this with, they would say they wouldn't do it with like a Brad Pitt or, or a Hugh Jackman or something like that. A lot of them wouldn't. And I'd be like, are you crazy? Like these guys, like obviously they're an incredibly good looking man. Why is it you wouldn't be down for that kind of thing? And most of the time they would give, they would give all these different answers. It doesn't matter. Oh, he's too this, he's too that. It, like it never had a consistent uh, rate of responses. What I was looking at too hard was what they were saying, but that's not what you want to look at. The reason why this is confusing, the reason why a lot of guys get you know, angry when they hear some, certain things like this is because they're not understanding it from a woman's perspective. So I'm going to kind of talk about the differences between men and women a little bit here. Okay, so let's look, let's take two environments. Two environments. Let's take, like you can see this at a female strip club where women are stripping. Okay, this is where guys go. So this is supposed to be appealing to men. What are they wearing there? Almost nothing. Lingerie, you know, bikini, whatever, a thong. They're wearing almost nothing. Now go to a male strip club where the guys are stripping. And if you notice, what are they wearing there? Sometimes you'll see them in like a firefighter's outfit, maybe a military outfit, police uniform. They're wearing something to indicate that they have a job, a career, or something that they do. Even in the most blatantly, like, we're just horny, so we're going here place, people, guys, are wearing something to show that they have a job or a career. They're showing something else besides their looks. Even in those environments, women need to know that the man that they're with is doing something. Like They need to know what kind of guy he is. And that's a big difference between men and women. Because when a woman sees a photo online on a dating app like OkCupid, okay she needs to know what kind of guy he is. Almost always she's going to read his profile. Almost always she's going to try and figure it out. And sometimes he'll like kind of look like her ex or someone that they've dated in the past that they're attracted to. And so they'll kind of fill in the gaps with whatever's in their head, which you know isn't very healthy, but um, it happens a lot. And so that, that is called their type. Their type is this person that they've kind of imbued these characteristics to. It could have even been that they, they saw this kind of person in a movie and you know, now they think they have those characteristics and that's appealing to them. So you know, this, is, this is what's happening. When you're their type, it, it works, but when you're not, they, a lot of times women will think that you're unattractive. Okay, and by the way, this is not all women. Even in the, the study says this is most women, so I'm not talking about all of them, but uh, I'm saying that this is in the majority of, of what's happening. You, you'll see this on dating apps. Women won't swipe right on very many guys, but guys will swipe right on a lot more women. You know, even if you're, um, I guess, the study is the medium looking woman, you're gonna get a ton more matches than a guy in the same place, like several times more, uh, more matches. And the reason why is because sex is not a scarce resource for women. A lot of women, when you ask them, how many sexual partners would you like to have this next year? A lot of them will say one. 
Now, not all of them will only have one, uh, but that's kind of their preference. For men, it's more. For men, it's like a five plus. They'd like to have five plus sexual partners. For women, it's not like that. Now, if you were only gonna have one sexual partner in the year, you know, you'd be a little bit more careful about who you pick. You start to think, because women, like, if they get into it, they, they, a lot of them are thinking more long term. They want to know what kind of guy he is, what he does, what it's going to be like to spend time with him. And so, for that reason, if you just show a picture and just bring up somebody that they've only seen in a magazine or something like that, that's why they're going to have those judgments. So, what does this tell you? Why is this important? Why am I breaking this down? I'm doing this so you can understand number one, female nature, and number two, you can understand that when you first walk up to somebody and start talking to them, it's okay if they're not attracted to you right then and there. But if you're patient and she sees you again and again and sees what kind of guy you are, your chances will go up. The more she learns about you, the more familiar she gets with you, the more time she spends with you, your chances will go up. So a lot of times guys are too tempted, oh, she's not texting me the way I want to right away and they give it up. Okay, and it's good to give things up when you're not getting the respect that you deserve. But I find that the guys who aren't judging themselves too harshly about initial interactions or initial impressions that are more patient, that look at the long game in general, they tend to do a lot better because more women will see what kind of guy they are. And if you're that guy, you're gonna be a lot more successful with women. And these studies and these things that you hear online are not gonna bother you as much. So, anyway, that's what I was gonna say about this, you guys. I mean, like 80%, it sounds really harsh, but what they're not looking at is they're not looking at why this is happening. Or maybe the people are there, they're just data nerds and they're not really attempting to break it down. Uh, but this is my job, this is what I do. And, and you know, over time I've learned exactly why this is happening. And I would exp I, I think that number is even higher. It's probably gonna be, most women think maybe like higher than 80% are unattractive. Um, but if you've ever been around women long enough, you've had enough female friends, you know that even if they say they don't like a guy at first, a lot of times they'll end up dating that exact, uh, that exact guy that they said they would never date. It's because they spent time with him. They know what kind of guy he is, you know? Like, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it changes. You shouldn't just dismiss things right off of first impressions. And if people get enough chance, your chances will go up. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, if you made it to then consider subscribing. If you want to take my mating intelligence quiz down below, that's uh, it's right there. And uh, good luck out there.